What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. How's your October going so far, huh? Comment down below. Long time no see, but if you missed it on Instagram stories, I announced that Bay and I are tying the knot this week. So things are getting pretty serious, which is also why we haven't been posting as regularly, but don't get it twisted. The second the dust kind of settles, we will be back to our normal posting schedule, I promise. So Viore, huh? If you guys have never heard of this brand, Viore, they are very popular on Instagram. They have such an awesome selection of activewear that's also lifestyle friendly. So the basic overall theme of Viore is that coastal California lifestyle. We're talking fitness, surf, art, very earthy kind of brand, super sustainable. Love the inclusivity that they have in their sizing. I believe it's double XS to double XL. So that's always a win with me. So a huge thank you to Viore for sponsoring today's video. Everything you see in today's video will be individually linked down below. So everything's down there for you in case you're interested in taking a closer look. So speaking of closer look, I'm wearing their daily bra in the color oregano, the oregano, oregano, what do you, what do you call it? <laughs> With their Laguna lounge pants in the color natural. So as you can see, you have that really coastal inspired, even the sounds of their clothing sound super California inspired, the Laguna, hello Laguna Beach. So what you'll notice with their sports bras is the breathe interlock fabric. So this is what's making them very, very soft, almost buttery soft, peachy to the touch but also super durable to actually lift weights, get a workout in, sweat in, all of the above. It's just made for an overall active lifestyle. So I'm gonna do a full try on, but first I just wanna share with you what's in this haul. So first things first, I got their Clementine shorts in the color brick. So yeah, it's a super rich, beautiful, almost burgundy red color. I love the pops of white detailing we got here. What I love is that I'm noticing their drawstrings have that unique pattern on them, even the joggers I'm wearing right now. So it's not just a basic white drawstring, you actually have a little bit of a blue line breakup, given that little Pacific coastal touch. What's super unique about these shorts is you have a zippered pocket right in the front. These are slightly loose fitting shorts. You have a little bit of that tapered cut. These are super lightweight overall, and they do have a built-in liner, bikini style, so you don't have to worry about anything showing. Next up, I have the Dash shorts in the color Desert Rose. So we have a little more of a blushy tone, almost like a little autumny, purpley, plummy. They really put a new perspective on performance and functionality. For example, on these shorts, there's actually two different types of pockets on both sides. So you have just your normal pocket, grab and go, easy access. And then you also have not one, but two, again, zippered pockets as well. You also have a zippered pocket right on the back here on the one side. There's no liner in these. So this is a little more freeing, a little bit more versatile. So keep that in mind. Okay, so to match the brick shorts that you just saw, I actually have the Yosemite bra in that same brick color. I, when I saw this bra, I said, uh-huh, <laughs> yeah. You know me, girl, you know that I love my strappy sports bras. The backing of a bra is make or break it for me. <laughs> I feel like the back of sports bras is where brands can get really expressive and creative, and they really did the dang thing on this. Oh, I bit my lip. <laughs> I bit my lip. They did the dang thing on this. Oh, I bit my lip. <laughs> I feel like the backing is where brands could get super expressive and creative, and they definitely did the dang thing on this backing. So this is a non-adjustable sports bra. There are removable bra pads right inside here. I can't wait to try this one on because if it's anything like the daily bra, I just feel like it will be where it's gonna show the girls real nice. The inner liner here, it's all mesh, breathable wicking. So again, yeah, you can sweat in this baby or you can wear it with a cardigan, like it's up to you. So again, with this bra, you do have the breathe interlock material, keeping it super nice and soft, very breathable and lightweight. So definitely my preference when it comes to wearing active wear in general. Next up, we have the ribbed crop tank in the color dark golden, this color. So what makes this particular tank different is the fact that it has built-in bra support. So you actually have almost a built-in bra, no padding or anything like that, but you do have a little bit of that elastic band, a little support, so if you were not wearing a bra, you're still held up a little bit, you're not just hanging loose. 
You have a really pretty V-neck front. I really love that crisscross backing. Very, very beautiful. So if you're not wearing a bra or having anything interrupt, this is just gonna lay so nicely and look so pretty on the back. Yeah, overall a really pretty heavy ribbed design, so you can feel it super textured. I also really love the Viore placement text where it's not taking up this whole square. It's actually just towards the bottom. I don't know why, little things like that, I'm just like, ooh, that's really unique. Okay, lastly for tops, we have the Elevation Plyo Tank in the color Brick Heather. So it's that same brick burgundy red, but it's Heather this time because you actually have that heathery marl type of breakup going on. Super soft like everything else. I love the high neck on here and this is different than the other crop that you just saw because there's actual built-in bra pads so no bra necessary. I love this style crop. It comes just long enough where if I'm wearing high-waisted leggings or jeans for that matter, I'm not even kidding you, it'll still be conservative enough where my whole tummy's not hanging out. You're in a crowded room with other people, you wanna keep it a little bit more conservative, a little built-in bra support, but it feels like you're not wearing a bulky bra. This is awesome. Sweat it up in here and you're good to go. Underneath is a full-on breathable mesh. So like I said, sweat in here and you're good to go. I don't even need to be working out. I could wear this outside, sweat it up, and we're still good. This is why I love how versatile their pieces really are. Okay, lastly, we are looking at the Boyfriend Joggers in the color Oyster Heather. Right off the bat, these are some of the softage. <sighs> softage. This is so extremely velvety, buttery, all of the above type of softness. This Heather Oyster color, I gotta be honest with you, it's a mixture between looking like a light gray and a light tan brown, in my opinion. Actually, Bay is saying he sees more of a gray tone. I'm seeing <laughs> more of a tan light brown tone, so it really depends on the eye. These are the kind of joggers that I would wear inside just because they're super soft. It would pair perfectly with a cozy blanket. All right, guys, it's that time of the video. Let's go try these baddies on. I'm gonna start with what I'm wearing right now. So the daily bra fits like a gem. I would give it moderate support overall. I do believe it is true to size for the most part, but if you're in between sizes, maybe opt for sizing down. I know when I'm kind of crunched up sitting, I might feel like the strap kind of fall a little bit. So if you're unsure, possibly size down. I don't think that it would be too small, put it that way. I do love the elastic band right here. It's a good, nice, thick elastic band for a nice, decent, moderate type of support but it's overall just a nice lightweight. I mean, look at the way these girls look today. Come on now. So if you're somebody who likes more of a minimal style sports bra, this might be for you because the backing is super straightforward here. Just two thick straps. Overall, just a super symmetrical type of bra. Really good with side boob. Like I'm not getting any at all. Moving my arms around, it's staying put. So in terms of the joggers and the natural color, I like the oversized fit. Overall, it's pretty decently oversized without it being astronomically large. But if in between sizes, or if you prefer a more tighter fit, you could totally size down in these hands down. It's got a really nice stretch too. You can move around all day, all night, and be extremely comfortable in these. You do have a really nice elastic cuff right here, which I prefer. If they're gonna be used outdoor, outdoor type of style, joggers, you kind of need something to cinch you in a little bit so they don't look like pajama bottoms. For these joggers, you do absolutely need to keep them tied because when they're open, they're pretty big, not gonna lie. See, check that out. This is why I think that you could totally just size on down, you're good to go. Unless you really like that loosey-goosey fit, you could size down in these babies. Mm -hmm. All right guys, so I paired the Oyster Boyfriend joggers with the dark golden tank. So let's start with the tank. Already I'm feeling more of a, you know, lower support because there's no bra pads or anything really built in except for that second little layer underneath that I showed you. I do think you can size down in this. Overall, I do feel like if you want a little more of a tighter support around the girls, maybe you could size down. And if you wanted a little more form fit around the waist, you could too. There's a little bit of a let up, so just know that. It's not overly tight, restricting. So this is not adjustable, like I showed you before. You can kind of feel like the strap's a little bit loose. This is why I say opt for sizing down. But overall, such a comfortable fit. I love the straps on the back. I think it's so sexy. So I wasn't sure how I would feel about not wearing a bra with this, but this is the type of tank where I think that second layer underneath is really helping me out and I don't feel awkward or weird. I feel like there is that ever so slight support, a little more of that coverage over the nips. 
so I don't feel awkward if I were to wear this outside just as is. Also really a big fan of the length here because it's not too showing. It's long enough to kind of cover up my belly. And again, these pieces, everything I'm sharing with you, they're really super stretchy. So you definitely can size down and get away with it perfectly. These joggers are so, so soft and lightweight that it's feeling like easy breeziness on my lower body. <laughs> Again, these are oversized. They are meant to be this way. I actually would not size down because I do like that little bit of let up that they offer. Oh my God, the stretch though. Look at this. <laughs> but even when pulling these, like there's major durability. Even loosening the drawstring a bit, they still fit nicely around my waist where they're not falling down. This is why I'm saying like, stick to your true size. You should be good and nice and comfortable. I can't even get over how stretchy these things are. Okay guys, I think this is my favorite set out of them all. I love the brick on brick. <laughs> so these loose fitted shorts are a little bit on the shorter side. I'm used to having loose fit shorts kind of being bigger, bulkier, things like that. But these are very lightweight. They're not too revealing because you, again, they are technically loose fit. So you have a little bit of that drapery covering your bum really nice. You still have that four way stretch, very nice and comfortable an extremely comfortable fit. You're still covered with the loose fit over top when squatting. These are definitely gym worthy in my opinion. Extremely lightweight and breathable. Here is it tied up really nice. I would give this more of like a low to mid rise. Definitely not high waisted. And I just love how the zippers just pop out with the drawstring a little bit. These I would definitely say are true to size. I would not size down in them because I feel like if I did size down, the bikini liner would start to become that uncomfortable tightness right around here. Right now, it feels very, very comfortable to the point where I wouldn't risk it. I would just keep my true size going on here. But dang, I cannot get over the backing of this bra. Are you kidding me? Woo! I do wanna make note that even though this sports bra kinda of has that similar fit of the oregano color, like you can see, girls looking amazing. You got the thick straps, kinda of similar scoop neck. They are definitely different right here on the band. So there's no actual elastic band like the other one. This one is just kinda of held together with a seam. So keep that in mind. I would give this a little bit of lower support especially compared to the oregano bra. Overall, still very functional, no side boob. Everything is looking and staying in place. I do think overall you could size down if you wanted to, especially if in between sizes. Again, you might get a little bit of looseness up here, certain angles. So either stick to your true size or possibly size down. Me personally, I would stick to my true size for this bra because I feel like any tighter, these straps just might get a little bit bulgy but yeah like i said this might be my favorite set of them all this brick red right now that deep rich burgundy speaking to me okay so i threw in the crop top with the built-in padding so i'm seeing a little bit of a unique cut right here it kind of goes in ever so slightly giving a nice high neck more of an elegant look here i do see that the top is slightly lighter looking than the bottoms. I feel like I noticed that too on the other brick sports bra, but I'm really seeing it on this tank top and I think it's that heathery kind of breakup. A huge fan of this tank. I just think it, the overall cut, the whole design, just everything looks and flows so nicely. I like the little bit of let up right here. It's definitely a lower type of support, nothing insane. Great coverage on the back. I really do think this is a good choice for those who just wanna be a little more conservative but wanna stay very active. Or you know what, someone like me who just wants to be one and done, throw something on with a pair of jeans and get out the door without struggling with bras. I do not think I would size down. Honestly, I, I'm, I'm happy with this fit. I think it's very comfortable. I don't really want it to be overly tight, super body fit restricting, even though look at this, nice amount of stretch. I'm just trying to keep it a little bit loose. Okay, last but not least you guys, these loose fit shorts, they're a little more high waisted. So keep that in mind, not as low. These also have a slightly longer inseam. So keep that in mind if you're looking for something to cover a little bit more. These are the ones without the liner though, okay? So keep that in mind if you're at the gym doing leg raises or anything like that where your feet are elevated you might want to just maybe wear your own spanks. These ones do not have a drawstring, whereas the other ones did. But I don't feel like I need to tighten anything. The band, everything is nice and huggy. 
stays put. I would not size down or up. These are perfectly true to size for me. Again, I'm obsessed with the dual pocket. So you have some options. This is something I would love to wear just going for a hike, honestly. You have a really nice breathable strip here. So you got some ventilation holes going straight down the sides. Really nice lightweight material, very wicking. So if you're out in some elements here, a little bit of wetness, it's gonna be really nice for that and super durable feeling. So don't be afraid to take these out and about and get down and dirty with these. All right guys, so that was it. That was the full Viore haul and review. What did you guys think? Have you ever tried this brand out? And if so, what are your thoughts? This is my very first time trying this brand and I gotta say, I'm really impressed. The colors, the quality, just everything about it just really is good for my particular lifestyle, my needs, and what I like in active wear, very versatile pieces. That's always been my preference, is street to gym wear. Like that always takes precedence in my life. So again, a huge thank you to Viore for sponsoring today's video. And an even bigger thank you to you for watching. I hope this video has given you guys some good insights. Again, definitely hit that subscribe button for future videos just like this. Thank you all so much, and I'll catch you in my next video.